Hello everyone, I am Kamal Ratnayaka and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today let's see how we can connect RabbitMQ to Azure Functions. Alright, so let's get started. We have four things to do. We have to start our RabbitMQ service and then create our function app and then modify our function app. Then run this and see whether this works. So first, let's get started and create our Docker container that runs the RabbitMQ uh, service. So I have installed Docker desktop in my machine. So I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to um, open my PowerShell window and uh, let's see, let's create the, uh, the Docker container that runs RabbitMQ service. Now that we have it running, let's open the Rabbit, RabbitMQ management console. I'm going into my machine and uh, this port 51567 to the default port for RabbitMQ management uh, UI here. I'm going to go, go into this tab and as you can see I have no queues here. I'm going to create a new queue. Okay, I'm going to call it my queue. All right, I have it here now. Now let's minimize this and um, let's create a function app. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit so that you can clear see it clearly. Um, I want uh, it to be a .NET application and uh, all right. Now I have it in place. Now let's create a new function. I'm just uh, just selecting queue queue trigger here, but it uh, really doesn't matter. Um, because I'm going to be renaming it later. I just want the file. Um, all right, now I have the C sharp file in place. Now let's change this file a little bit so that it can connect to our RabbitMQ instance. I'm going to copy the code that I showed you before and um, I'm going to paste it here. And let's just um, okay um, and then um, I also need to have another package uh, let's install that here this is um, the extension for RabbitMQ uh, service all right so now let's see um, now that we have the function in place, let's um, let's try and run this. Let's see what happens. As you can see, I haven't imported these um, these attributes here, so there should be an error. So let's see what I can do about that. All right, I'm going to import a few packages here as you can see so that um, we don't get into that error and I have connected it to localhost and um, this is the queue that I just created so let's see if this works okay as you can see we have the function app running now let's see whether this uh, this works i'm going to create a message here let's just uh, put uh, hello as you can see my queue trigger just triggered and it shows the message i just posted to the queue hope you learned something new today and if you have any comments leave them below i will see you in another one